Are you setting kitchen cabinet bases and having a problem leveling? I think I have your answer. Hi, this is Ross with DIY on the House. We're actually doing a kitchen remodel and uh, we're putting an um, um, island in. It's going to be a 6x6. Six six. And the problem is the floor is not level and I won't be able to, with all the cabinets, all the components involved, I'm not going to be able to end up shimming and leveling and going through quite a bit of process to try to get this thing figured out. So what I found was the easy level system. Um, I went ahead and ordered these. I got them in three days. And I, normally, if the floor was perfectly flat, I would probably just shim it. But being that I know that there is some issues with the floor, I'm going to go with this system. And the set includes these two, a couple rods for adjustment. And I end up ordering eight sets because that's what I needed to actually complete the uh, island. So the system is comprised of, these are basically little jacks. Um, and when you screw in the little rod and you tighten that up, it brings the little jack leg up and as you turn and you turn it just slowly brings it up so this is really no different than a jack on a car or an RV or whatever um, and then the way these work is you have your back one here you screw in your long rod this is a for this is designed for a 24 inch base that just slides through here so it's nice on these so uh, let's pretend this is on the base and you just turn the back one I'm not sure if you can see perfectly, but I'm actually able to just raise the back. I can just bring that down, raise the front, or I can do them both at the same, you know, or I can do them at the same level. So that gives the uh, cabinets ability to do this and level up to where everything is perfect because we're going to be doing granite tops on these. We want to make sure they are level. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it installed. I'll show you how to do it. It's a really simple process and uh, we'll get after it and we'll show you. So I've got the corner of the cabinet, and uh, without explaining things, I'll just tell you your measurements you're going to want to do. Uh, we're going to go on ahead and want to measure up one and three quarter inches. And this is the access hole we're going to be using for the, uh, for the easy level system so we can adjust the legs up. So like I said, we're going to go one and three quarter inches. I'm going to mark that out. I'm going to take my paddle bit. This is a 7 8 paddle bit. You probably get by with one inch or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to take that paddle bit and I'm going to put the outer edge of the paddle bit on that line. I don't want to drill above the line. I just want to drill up to it. So I'll take that and make sure that I'm not going to be drilling into this side brace or the side panel. I'll go ahead and just get this one drilled. Okay, that's that. On the back side of the uh, toe kick, there is a brace right here, and that is to connect these two pieces together. I just drilled right through that. I just still have brace on the bottom and then the top. So I take my easy levelers. I'm gonna go ahead and screw in my long rod. We just wanna bring it to the point where you, you feel it hit the jack. And then we'll bring our next one in, the top front one. And we'll put our small screw in there. Okay, and that is that. So with the system, you're gonna be provided some small screws. Those will go into the bottom uh, side of the cabinet side. And then you'll get some longer black ones. Those will actually go through the side of the uh, easy level and secure it to the side of the base. One thing you will need is either a two by four or I have a, some high density foam that measures an inch and a half. And if you get a two by four, that'll be an inch and a half as well. We're gonna put that down on the bottom here. All right, next we're gonna take our easy level and we're gonna put the flanges out. And we can just let him drop down. And that, that level, that space is gonna keep it an inch and a half off the back of the base. So right now we'll just go ahead and take our little zinc screws. We'll need four of those total. And then we'll need two of the uh, black screws total. These come in different uh, lengths depending on what you specify for your cabinet. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screw in the uh, bottom jack hole into the case here. I'm not going to tighten that up. I'm just going to get it into place. I'm going to leave a little slack in that and then we'll come up to our top one and do the same thing. And I'm going to bring, bring it to where both of the, the adjusting screws are level. The reason I'm not tightening these up is because when you tighten it up, it actually tries to force this jack at an angle. So I'm just going to get, get these loose, get them to where they're in place and slack. Now we're going to take our black screw and go through the side of the hole of the jack. Okay, and we'll do the one on the top and the bottom both. Okay, once that's completed, we'll go ahead and install the remaining two screws. And tighten those up as well. Okay, and that is it. So once that's installed, you are going to have a little bit of a protrusion of the screws. And you want to make sure that when you rotate the cabinets up that you don't scratch the floor. So be aware of that that will definitely mar your scratch your floors. So the way this works is now you have a provided uh, driver with the square tip that'll fit right into the rod end. And when you screw that in, it'll bring that jack out in the same way with the top. You see so you have ex access to both of them. That'll bring that top one out. All right, I've got four more of these to stick on. After I get that done, uh, we'll go ahead and get the uh, cabinets joined together and then stood up. So we are in the middle of leveling out the island and the floor is quite challenging. But fortunately for the easy level system, uh, it's making it actually really doable. Uh, without it, it would, this would be one of those very frustrating processes. So I'm very, very thankful for this system. Uh, so what it is, is as we make the 90 degree corner around here, I'm just leveling up the, uh, the little jacks that are under the uh, cabinets and it's making it a piece of cake. So once we get, it, it's only taken maybe about 10 minutes or so to get everything leveled up. So you can see right there, it's that simple to bring it up. I think we might be bringing it up just a hair too much. 